It just felt super, super rushed, super, super, super windy. There's literally no one else here. Is Paracas worth visiting? Good morning and welcome to Paracas National Reserve here about a three hour drive south of Lima, Peru. And we're actually about to go on a boat tour of the- Ballestas Islands, I think yeah. that's how you say it. <laughs> which is sort of known as the Galapagos of Peru, which is known for kind of some different wildlife and sea creatures, some interesting rock formations. We are going in the off season, so we may not see as much yeah. uh, wildlife as you normally would in kind of the warmer months. And what we did is rented a car from Lima down here instead of going on one of the bus tours just to make yeah. sure we have enough time. And after the boat tour, we're gonna be going to a couple other stops on our own uh, here, iconic in the area, and ultimately determine and give your honest opinion if Paracas National Reserve is worth visiting in Peru. I will say I am super excited. I'm so excited. So let's go. This right here is called the Candelabra. It's an Incan rock formation that was carved into the rock here. It's not sand. And it's supposed to either be like a candlestick or a cactus that has something to do with significance with astronomy, although it's still shrouded in mystery. But how cool is that? starting point the hotel and the tour lasted about two hours almost yeah. exactly two hours since we left the reason why we chose this company Venturia was because they have smaller speed boats and most of the other online tours that I saw which there are tons of options online they had bigger speed boats so I think a lot more people if it happens for you to come in maybe in the high season it will get too crowded so I just wanted to be safe yeah and but for us there was like there's a max of like 20 people for the boat, like yes. seating. There's only nine, nine people, including us, yeah. which is awesome. So we had like plenty of room to you know switch, like go to the left side of the boat, go to the right yes. side of the boat. Yes, so it was really good. And probably because it is low season, we're yeah. here during July, the winter of Peru. But speaking of seating, a really good tip is that we definitely found that the left side of the boat was a lot better. You got much better views. Yeah, the, like before we went on, we were like, hey, which side of the boat is better? And because we didn't know how many people were going to come on. And the guide was like, oh, the, you know, the captain will kind of turn the boat um, both ways. So you get um, views on both. Hardly no. at all. There's certain points that he did, but hardly at all. Yeah. I was, uh, we were both on the, because we could move around a little bit. Yeah. So we were on the left side, almost the, like 80%, 90% of the time. So just a little yes. tip when you go on, try to like secure the left side seat. Yes. And speaking of the captain too, we did feel like the tour was a little bit rushed. For sure. Like we were For sure. trying to catch something like a photo yeah. and they were already going to the yeah, next like, one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, here, hey, there's a sea lion and we just pass it like don't even like stop maybe for three seconds i know super just felt super super rushed i wish it was just i would have paid for a little bit longer and everything yes. if they could have just stopped which i think was unfortunate but, but um, it was beautiful and we yeah. saw we saw more wildlife than we thought we would for being in the low season exactly it was kind of like because people say oh go in the you know the warmer season of peru you'll see a lot more wildlife if you go in the winter like you know july for us you won't really see much there was definitely kind of, I think, less of yeah. wildlife, but there was everything. There was like, what, there were sea lions, there was like orange penguins. crabs, penguins, a All ton of, of birds. <laughs> so it, it was a good tour. It wasn't that amazing, honestly. And I can't help but compare it to our experience in Espirito Santo Island in Mexico, which was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, we were able to actually go and like touch and pet sea lions. Yes which was awesome and like look at the coral reefs below so much more immersive also we were just in Argentina yes. you know within arm's reach of 
hundreds of penguins. Yes. So I think because of that, those are two very immersive experiences. This one is a little bit less, and maybe because yes. of that, because of our, you know, we're a little bit spoiled in that regard <laughs> yeah. to where it was a little bit boring. It was good, but honestly, it wasn't great. And yeah, exactly like what you said, just felt very rushed and very kind of systematic. Like, here's the sea lion, here's this, this is what happened, and then it was over. And we had almost yes. no time to like vlog while we were there because it was so fast. Yes. But it was good, it was still good. Yes. And worth the money, I would say. Speaking of money, the tour costs about, I believe, $31 yes. per person. And we paid online, it was all very easy, but I'll yeah. make sure to leave the link in the description below as well. Yeah, and we made sure not to eat before we came, which yes. was really good because it got super bumpy at certain parts. And chilly. And now we're super hungry, so we're gonna go find a place to eat. And then after that, we are going to go to a, an iconic landmark here, about 20 minutes away. So we're excited for the rest of the day, let's go. So now we're here at a little restaurant in the small town of Caracas called Milia Cero. And check out what we got. We're starting with some chaufa, specifically fish chaufa. So it's just pieces of fish in this oriental style rice with some onions, some other things. And we've noticed that there's a lot of oriental ingredients here um, in Peru. And then Ali has a seafood chaufa, just different types of fish. Um, I think there's some octopus in there or something, uh, but pretty similar, it looks amazing. Here we have Andean corn. We've noticed this, this seems super popular at seafood places in Peru, Cusco and Lima, and then here in Paracas, um, which I love to snack on and eat way too much. Here we have just some fish soup that looks amazing. Kind of see that? Here I have some coca tea to help me recover from the kind of the bumpy boat ride. And then Ali has some delicious looking fresh pineapple juice because we've seen amazing pineapples here in Peru. This looks amazing. Let's eat and get on the road. We're here at our next destination, La Catedral, which is this lookout point in Paracas National Park. And this is the most western edge of South America and of course, Peru. And it's kind of known by this um, rock formation that you see in the water, filled with these different birds kind of hunkering down. And yes, I'm holding the mic and I'm yelling right now. It's actually a little bit less windy right now than it was uh, just like two minutes, minutes ago. Now. Yeah, but it is super, super, super windy. There's literally no one else here. And it looks like we're on Mars or like Saudi Arabia or something. Very, very cool. But the wind is strong, blowing just a bunch of sand everywhere. Yeah. So we're, so yeah, there's literally nobody else. And that yeah. could be why. And to get in the park, it was about 11 soles per person, which was what dollars? Like $3, $3, $4, $4, $4, something like that. So pretty inexpensive. For our next destination, we're gonna try to find a nice point with a lot less wind. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> well, we'll see. of the color of the sand and it's really beautiful especially at this golden hour it's a little bit less windy than the <laughs> stop that we were yeah, before and definitely less sandy just yes. to replace water instead of sand yeah it's yes. true but it's much nicer <laughs> yes what did you think about paracas yeah in terms of the question right the whole point of watching yeah. this is paracas worth visiting honest answer no but Here's contingencies. Yes. If you like more resorts and kind of more chill and relaxed, like you could, you know, go on an ATV tour, go drive around um, with a guide, you know, go out on the boat, a little bit more relaxed. Um, yeah. The scenery is, is is beautiful, but there's other parts of Peru, especially near Cusco and yes. other places that are just breathtakingly spectacular. Yes. So this kind of pales a little bit. And it's, a lot more to do as well. Here, definitely. you know, there's a handful of things. You can see the reserve, you can yeah, but, see the sand dunes. But if you're going to Ica, which is what we're doing, 
then I think it would be worth the stop. Exactly. So tomorrow, part of the reason we stopped here is because like, okay, we're also going to Ica, you know, with Juanachina, this kind of like oasis town surrounded, surrounded by sand dunes. The oldest vineyard in South America is actually there right outside of Ica. So that's actually where we're going tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll be vlogging our whole day there. And that's kind of what we were more excited for anyway and decided to add this along. So if you're going to Ica and have, you know, an extra day, well, yeah, I definitely think it'd be worth it. Yeah. But flying out of the country to come here? No. no definitely not. I can't. <laughs> There's so many other amazing parts of Peru. This is yeah. my personal preference. Yeah. And what about you? I don't know. Oh, no, I definitely agree. When we looked yes. at photos of these places, the photos looked wonderful. So maybe because of that, the yeah. photos were so good, we were a little bit underwhelmed yeah. by our activities today. But it was still a really, really no, great day. Yeah, super thankful. Yes. It was a great day. But why we came down here, like we said, is for Ica, which we're super, super excited yes. for. We'll be posting that and linking that in the description section. Yes. So if you're interested to see that part, and whether Ica Peru is worth it, uh, then be sure to subscribe, check out that video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We loved having you along this adventure and hope to have you along more adventures here in Peru, Argentina, Brazil, and all over the world. So as always, thank you, God bless, and we look forward to having you in the next one. Ciao. Ciao.